What's up, everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture. In the house right now. About to go out and check on some of the animals, some of the coots, some of the uh, chickens, and make sure they're doing all right. Hurricane Michael's, or Tropical Storm Michael now, is on top of us, and the wind is whipping, the power's going in and out. It's raining a crap ton outside right now. So I'm gonna go out there and uh, just check on the animals real quick, make sure everything's good, make sure nothing's blowing away, and uh, maybe even take a walk down to the creek and see how much it's overflowed. Cause I, I it's been raining since yesterday about yesterday afternoon. It is I don't even know what time it is right now. Like two thirty, three o'clock, and. Uh, So it's been raining for quite a while and pretty hard. So I'm going to go down and check down the creek also and see how much water is flowing around there. Alright, I'll be back in just a second. What's up everybody? Made it out in the rain, checking on the chickens. Making sure these chicken tractors hadn't moved and squashed any chicken legs or had any chickens trapped underneath it. Looks like they're doing good. Looks like they're all doing good. Let's see if we can't make a walk real quick down to the creek and see how full it is. It's been raining hard, like I said. Now, I do have to walk through the woods to get to the creek. And it's probably not the safest thing to do right now with the way the wind is blowing. So hopefully uh, everything comes out all right. <laughs> I'm crossing the, the duck pond, which is completely overflown right now. Let's turn this around, I'll show you the duck pond. This is the river that's flowing out of the duck pond over our path. Those trees aren't supposed to be in the water there. You can see the ducks back there. They don't mind it, they enjoy it. They're probably the only ones out here really enjoying this right now. Let's see if we can't get back here to the woods. And to the creek. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because my phone is getting soaked. I'll turn it back, I'll come back to you when I get to the creek. All right, I made it to the woods. I'm walking down the path. Let me turn it around and show you guys what I'm seeing. This path is completely, it's up to my shins. And I'm walking in right now and it looks like the water is flowing towards me. Out of the creek into this path. Oh yeah. The creek is completely flooded. It's banks. Completely, 100% flooded. It's banks. Right in front of us is that old bench sitting there. If you go about 20 yards forward, it's the creek, and there's usually six to eight inches of water sitting there. Right now, there is probably six to eight feet of water running through that creek. I've never seen it this high down here. This bank is a good eight feet, nine feet over the creek, and it has completely crested the bank. I probably shouldn't be down here too long because who knows when the next wave of water comes. And I do not want to get stuck in that and having to freaking climb a tree to stay alive. That wouldn't be good. And the wind's really starting to pick up, if y'all can hear that. So we're going to go back because this is a, not a good scenario to be in. It's pretty crazy out here guys. Pretty crazy! Man, our little creek turned into a full-fledged river. This is crazy. Look at this. The creek is flowing into our woods now. 
down the path into our woods. Well, I did have a hammock set up <laughs> in between two trees down there. It doesn't look to be there anymore. <laughs> it's gone. And that hammock was a good six, seven feet above the creek. It's not there anymore. Wow. Never seen it like this before. We got a lot of rain recently. Let's see if we can get back out of here. Walk through the the new river, the new creek. So yeah, this is the 100 year floodplain that I'm in right now, which, which we've, we've looked up the maps and stuff where the 100 year floodplain is, and I'm standing in it right now, so obviously, uh, the 100 year floodplain may need to change soon. Um, I've never seen it like this, like here before, but my neighbor said it's been like this before and it was not a hundred years ago. It was more like ten years ago. Man. That's pretty nuts. I feel better getting out of that wood out of the woods though. Because I don't know when a tree would be falling, the way the wind is going right now. Or uh just the next wave of water from upstream just flushed down and could have flushed me out down there. All right, that was fun. Later, y'all. Hurricane Michael, tropical storm Michael, knocked our power out. So I'm out here getting this generator going. It's a brand new one, brand spanking new, hadn't been used yet, so I'm uh, having to put a little bit of oil in it, got that done, just got the gasoline in it, so we'll put this back on. And we need to get her started up, power's been out for probably a good 30, 45 minutes now, and I've got freezers full of pork, I don't need to go bad, so... We'll get this thing up and running. Not sure how long we'll be out of power, but we've got the backup just in case. Thinking ahead, thinking ahead. So let's get this cat up and running. And I'll probably do a little update video. When she's up and running, I've got three freezers to plug it into. So, wish me luck. What's up? Standing here in the dark, just got all the generators hooked up. Show you what we got going on. Hopefully you can see it. I have a flashlight here with me. Alright, let's turn this around. So we got one freezer here. Hooked up. Another freezer right here, hooked up. So you can see we got a cord running outside. That drops down in the garage. We got another freezer outside in the garage out that way. It's about to get really loud. I'm gonna go out here where the generator is and show you the other freezer we have hooked up in the generator. Here's the other freezer right here. Generator running. We got one, two, three, four freezers hooked up. So we're not going to lose any meat, anything frozen. It's going to stay froze as long as we still have gas. <laughs> We've got enough gas for a good couple of days right now. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be good for the next couple of days. The rain, the rain, and this tropical storm has been hard. It gave us a good flood. Let's see. So, 
got everything hooked up. Now I need to go feed the pigs. Pigs still need to get fed. And I still got to work tonight. That's what sucks. I, I got to work at Papa John's tonight. All right, y'all. Later. So the flooding continues. That water that you see out there, that muddy water right behind those trees, is the creek. And it's about 175 yards where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I got some chickens down there that hopefully, hopefully it'll slow down or those chickens may have to get a little on higher ground. Let me zoom back in. So yeah, the creek is flowing through my neighbor's backyard, back field, right back in there. And it's supposed to be a good 75 to 100 yards further back. Crazy! This isn't even the one that everyone was worried about, right? Well, this is the one we're getting the most damage from. Michael. Focus camera, there we go. Neighbors down there driving, checking out the creek that's not where it's supposed to be. It stopped raining, which is good. It's gone back a little bit. It's a good 50 to 75 yards now from where it's supposed to be though. Heck of a flood. It hadn't been raining for a while. Water's still back there though. I got everything done I needed to. Just in time. Just in time to be able to go to the J-O-B. Put in a few hours delivering some pizzas got the generator hooked up running got all four freezers hooked up pigs are fed chickens are okay just a little excess of water we didn't even flood but sometimes when we get excess of water like that our, our base won't flood no flooding down there just flooding back in the creek man if I didn't have to work tonight Sure, me and the neighbors would be grabbing the canoes, jumping back there, and having a good old time. <laughs> We've talked about it. It's, they said it's done this before. So, all right, y'all. Everything's good to go here. Later.